Good morning, good evening, and good night. I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to 144 from the stars. Tarot. Alright, so I did kind of pick up on the energy a little bit just because it feels so big. It feels like it's going to change a lot, so... Long story short, kind of what I'm getting is um, someone is going in a not-so-great cycle. Meanwhile, I feel like someone else is going in a different direction. So, let's go ahead and take a look into this situation and see what Spirit would like you guys to know. We have family room and unexpected income both coming out reversed. Okay, so I'm kind of getting that um, a bit of a plot has been foiled. We have Journey coming out and Imprisonment and Coffin. Jeez, to get all that in one go. All right, and then we've got Pathway double com confirming the Journey card. Okay, so it appears as though a, a whole a ruse, a scheme, a... I don't know. It, it seems like um, some people were involved. It seems like um, there was a lot. In, like, this feels complicated. This energy, this family room and unexpected income, this feels complicated. I feel like things have been, like, switched around. There's been, like, shape shifting. There's been lies. There's, there's some weird energy in here. Okay. The good thing is, though, um, that's not working out for him. So... Basically, what I'm getting is a group of individuals. I feel like this is like a whole family or like, I don't know, a, a bundle of friends or something. It feels like a group. It feels organized in some kind of way. Um, I guess that they were working on getting money in nefarious means. And um, I'm really hearing time's up. Like time is up. Time is over. This can no longer happen. Whatever they've been doing can no longer happen. Seven of Wands coming out, letting you know you guys are protected. Meanwhile, their defenses are down. Oh, shoot. Nine of Wands reversed with the Seven of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. Oh, so someone's not going to be able to defend themselves from the truth. Now, that's messed up. Why would you ever have to defend yourself from the truth? Unless you're a liar. Unless you're not in the truth. Unless the truth is something that won't set you free. It will instead imprison you. Okay, so someone's not going to be able to defend themselves from the truth. Also, I feel like someone's going to be like, I'm getting the energy of like naked and exposed, like caught with your pants down kind of energy. Like there's really nothing, I, I'm getting like there's no sweet talking your way out of this. This is kind of like um, a, a cheater who's really good at talking their way out of every time um, they get caught, but this time they can't because you're literally looking at him with the other person in the bed, right? It's like you can't, there's no talking your way out of this. I see it all. So, all right. So someone's not going to be able to BS their way out of the truth. Also, this has to do with your protection, it's because of your divine protection that they like, oh my gosh, this is like, this is like an, a really cold windstorm. Now wind, the element of air is mind, it's intellect, it's information, it's knowledge, it's words. This is a cold windstorm and these people don't have anything on. It's icy, it's sharp, they got wind burn, it's cutting through them, and there's nothing they can do. They can't hold up their hands, they can't block it, they can't stop it. This truth is being spoken, this truth is coming out. So I feel like um, there's some individuals that are freaking out because like a whole community, a whole family, a whole society is coming down. Their whole scheme, their whole business, their whole, I, I just heard Rico, so this might be like... Oh, wow. And then look, again, this Five of Pentacles. I was going to bring it up later. 
but it came back out again because I ignored it and it needed to be spoken. But it's coming out again, confirming what I felt. It's coming out with the justice. All right, we've got five of pentacles and we have the justice out here. I'd mentioned because of your protection, these individuals are going to be exposed in the elements. They're going to be caught in this icy cold storm of truth. And there's nothing that they can to shield themselves. They can't lie their way out of it. They comp have no defenses. Not only that, but they don't have the money. They don't have the resources. And I specifically said money. That was the first thing that came out of my mouth. And that's not normally, that's not always the energy of Five of Pentacles. But that's what someone is thinking. Someone's mind is on money. They're thinking about how they can't afford something. So not only can someone not defend themselves against the truth, they can't lie about it. But they also don't have something to cover their means. And this this is justice. This might uh, do justice with death and Nine of Swords. Oh my goodness. All right, so what's what all is going on? Because it, it really kind of feels like a whole community of people, a whole family have been plotting, have been scheming, have been committing like multiple crimes for an extended period of time. Like I said, I, I heard Rico earlier. So that is that's organized crime. That's crimes to commit more crimes to wash the money from the previous crimes. You know, you got to you got to <laughs> commit more crimes just to cover your ass from the past few crimes and they've been doing this for a long time. All right, but I mean it's time for this to end Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so there is an ace out here. Someone is getting some kind of money. But I don't think it's these individuals because their unexpected income is reverse the tower coming out reverse. That's letting me know it's you guys. Absolutely. You guys are about to receive some kind of payout, some kind of compensation. Some kind of money is coming your way from this. It is hard. Okay. So it really kind of feels as though you are about to receive some money, but like while I do see that's a great thing, I think what's most important is you s witnessing um, your perf like your divine protection materialize outside of you. And the way you're going to witness this is by the individuals that have been attacking you being removed. You're going to witness that in some kind of way, shape, or form. So I don't know if you live near these people. I don't know if, like, if some of these people are your neighbors. You might literally be pulling on your road coming home from work and literally just happen to come by at this right time and catch them in the middle of a raid, in the middle of an arrest. I don't know, but for a, a lot of you, you guys are actually going to get the opportunity to witness this imprisonment, to witness this ending. <sighs> okay, something about this imprisonment and coffin. Um, that's kind of... Uh, look... Someone might not make it to the jail cell that has their name on it. They they might leave before they get the chance. We got King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck when I said that. I just now noticed. So there may be a earth sign. Um, that, shoo, I don't like this. I don't like this energy at all because I don't, I don't like picking up on that kind of energy. It's very destructive. It's reckless. Um. I'm kind of getting a mix of two things. This individual might be, um, you know, when someone just has nothing else to lose, they stop caring and they do really reckless things, almost like as if they're hoping they die, like they got a death wish. I'm kind of picking up on that energy and I'm also picking up on actual like a, a, a desire to unalive themselves. And I believe it, it has to do with this truth coming out and them knowing that there's nothing that they can do. So someone would literally rather leave the earth by their own means than face justice for what they've done. <sighs> okay, that's heavy. All right, what would you like the collective to know? Death. Reversed. King of Cups, Four of Wands. And the Sun and Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so part of what the Divine wants you to know is um, there's going to be a backfire. Um, I had mentioned death energy. I did pick up on one specific timeline where I'm kind of feeling like someone might leave. Might leave. Um, 
someone's going to experience a, a, a motorcycle or a car accident. I've been picking up on that energy. It's really heavy now. Like, it feels like it's very soon. Um, before, it felt distant, and it felt like the timeline could change. Now, it feels a little more condensed. Like, it's a little more concrete right in front of us. Um, someone else is also going to be experiencing severe health issues. Like, they're going to find out um, very soon that they have something, and they've got, like, three years. Is kind of the energy I'm getting. And this is a backfire. Someone has been heavily attacking you psychically, spiritually, projecting emotions. They've been sending it to your home. They've been attacking your family. They've been attacking your money. They've been attacking like every part of you. Any part of your being and your life that they could potentially try to attack, they were. But here's the thing. At the very beginning of the reading, we had your protection make itself known. You didn't show up. But your protection made itself known. Your divine protection around you. And this death card is coming out reverse. Now it came out with all these characters out here. But again, we have this tower reverse. And we have you right here in the Nine of Pentacles. So they couldn't um, uproof you. They couldn't knock you off your throne or anything. They couldn't throw you off balance. And they couldn't take from you. Instead, what I'm actually seeing is every like everything they tried to do against you, you one way or another ended up gaining from it. Now, whether it happened instantly or it happened in the long run, it, it really just depends on which specific you're recalling on. But I, I really see that your protection allowed you to just transmute the hate into like blessings. Um, so not only that, but their energy still had to go somewhere. Um, unfortunately, it went right back to this community. And what what sucks is, because I'm picking up on the energy of someone in this group is going to lose someone around them. And the messed up thing is the person that paid the price for the death magic they sent wasn't the person sending it. And that sucks. It was someone that was connected to them. So, so one of these individuals is going to lose an aunt, they're going to lose a sister, they're going to lose a mom, they're going to, I'm really picking up on a feminine energy, um, I can actually see her, but I, I don't really care for describing her, but, um, yeah, okay, but that's, that's karma, because they, they wished ill on you, so, unfortunately, this whole community, this whole family, this, I don't know if this is like, for some of you, this is like an entire family. For others of you, this is like kind of an entire family, but then also a group of people they mingle with. For others of you, this is like literally like an entire society, like a city, a whole town. Like this is wild. Um, and they're all going down. That's what's wild. Um, that's why I'm taking so much time just kind of sitting here because I'm feeling all the different timelines. Of, like That's why I said it's so damn messy. There's so many people involved. And the karma is playing out so intricately. Like it's... Oh, I love the design of God's plan. It's so masterful. But as I'm seeing all this like dominoes, it's like, oh my gosh, this is awful. This is awful that this is their reality, this is their karma, this is their judgment, this is their lesson, but I'm not feeling necessarily bad or remorseful for it because look at what they were doing. Yeah, it's not good though. Literally, like, people are on their way to poverty, people are on their way to prison, people are on their way off the earth. People are going to lose people that are close to them. This is messy. This is really, like, not good. Um, goodness. This is harsh. Judgment. Seven of Pentacles coming out reversed and then the night. At the end of the day, nothing they did is going to plan out. Nothing they did is going to bring fruit. And ultimately, like, this is like a complete dismantling of the group. Like, they're fighting amongst each other. A lot of them, like, ah, this is so sad. This really is. And like, I, I'm trying to see them in the light side. Like, these are good people and they all had great lives and blah, blah, blah. And then it all just broke apart. Like, I want to look at it that way, but I can't help but know the damn truth. They were wicked. They were so wicked. And the things that they were, look, the moon at the bottom of the deck. Princess of Swords, they've been secretly gang stalking you, spying on you. Like, for a lot of you, these people have been doing the most way too much 
Like I said, Rico. I did not use that word lightly. <laughs> That's a lot of felonies. A lot of heinous and moral acts and crimes. And there's so many people involved. And, like, it's messed up because some of the people that got involved are close to you. Like, this group, this family, this society, they got your friends involved. They got your exes involved. They got your family members involved. They got your damn mailman involved. They got your, your across-the-street neighbor. They got them involved. Yep, they all in cahoots. And, like, I, I hate giving that kind of a message because no one wants to live like that. No one wants to realize that that's really the reality that they're in. That there's so many people around them that are freaking snakes and out to get them. But what I would love to tell you, and I can, and I'm so grateful that I can honestly tell you, by the love of God, you are protected in this. You are safe. I can see it. I can see the effects of it because look at how their life is just completely falling apart. Families are breaking up, homes are breaking up, relationships, friendships, health is declining. People are facing imprisonment, people are suicidal, people are going off the handle, people are drinking and driving. Like, this is not good. This is a mess. People are going to get hurt. And it's all really, it's due to their inability to face God's judgment for what they've done to you. And I really like that you're not out here. You have not once came out here collective. The only part of you that's came out is the anointing, the protection around you. This is simply just to let you know that God's got your back. Spirit's got your back. Like whatever you call on, whatever you rely on, they are here. They are here and they are with you. And they've been doing things behind the scenes that you wouldn't even believe. Believe me. Like the, some of the scenes I've seen and Spirit was showing me in some of these timelines. It's, you're loved. You're very loved because there was so many plots, schemes, attacks going on simultaneously. From so, You were being attacked from all angles. And yet here you are sitting on the couch or maybe you're cooking. Maybe you're doing a little bit of household chores while you're listening to me and your earbuds or whatever. And you're fine. You're breathing. You're okay. These people wanted you to be the worst. And you're okay. All right, so these people are getting what's theirs. I see that. What would you like the collective to know? I, I'm very grateful that they are protected in all of this. Is there anything else you would like the collective to know? Again, the tower reverse. Mm. Something about you. Um, part of the reason why you're so protected is the healing work you did. Um, like I've, I feel like the spirits wanting to give you some credit right now. We've got three, three, three out here, three of pentacles, three of wands, three of swords. You guys have done the inner work. You've looked at the wounds. You've allowed the light to enter those wounds and you've expanded your, like your being, your vessel with it. You have turned pain into power. You, this, this three, 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 this is you. All that pain, all that work, all that everything, all like everything you've been through has shaped you into this diamond, this pinnacle, this perfection. Like God loves you so much because of like, you, even though a lot, like what I'm getting is you were this innocent victim to heinous, awful evil from so many angles coming at you in all flying monkeys and darts. And you know what you did? You went within and you healed. And do you know how much God looks down on his children on earth and just wishes his child would just go within? And you did that in spite of what you were going through. And like that's why they will not touch you. You are way too favored. You are too precious. You are too loved. God is too proud of you. It's like any other kid, but not that kid. That's my prodigy child. That's the one that's actually going to do it. That's the one that's going to heal the bloodline, to secure the grids, to secure the timelines. Like I'm talking to a warrior right now. You incarnated in a very difficult cycle. In a very rough patch. Surrounded by the worst. Everyone's your damn enemy. 
no matter where you turn. And you know what you did? You went within, you healed, you alchemized. You actually became the alchemist. You ascended. You became an ascended being. You mastered yourself. You mastered reality. So now you don't even have to get involved in this. You've ascended to such a high 33 degree that you don't even have to be out here. Only your essence, only the presence of the Most High, the love for you, the surrounding fire that will always anoint and surround you, protect you from any of these evil intentions. That's the only part of you that even needs to engage in this. You're free to do whatever you want. You've ascended to that level. It's kind of like, um, okay... If you are a king and you are on a throne, do you really have to worry about a squabble that's going on in the front yards of your kingdom? No, you've got knights, you've got soldiers, you've got people that will protect you. You can just sit on your throne. This is what I'm getting. You have ascended to the point to where you have the right to not have to step off your throne. You have earned that right to just stay on your throne, keep your vibrations high, and let your protection, let your rank, let your anointing, let God's love for you do the work. You don't have to get off that throne. You don't have to tell these people what they need to know. And No, you don't. You don't have to. You don't even have to dodge their punches. You don't have to answer the door. Just sit there on your throne. Let spirit do the work because you did what you were supposed to. And that was your inner work. So you ascending to this high masterful state is the reason why you've, I feel like, all right, so for a lot of you, I'm going to be real. Look, we got the five of wands out here and then, yeah, all right. I feel like this was a, this scenario that you guys are dealing with, um, this lifetime it's the last lifetime. You've completed this. Whoever I'm speaking for right now, this reading, if this is your message. You have completed this cycle in this lifetime. These individuals have done this to you in past lives or this entity. Maybe not the people, but maybe the entity that's been using them. It's been following you from lifetimes. Maybe in a past lifetime, you were a king and these individuals robbed you and stole and you lost your whole kingdom and you were betrayed and you were completely like just um, marooned, casted out. And maybe you came back in other lifetimes playing out, trying to get that, make that right, play out that karma, learn out these lessons. I, this isn't a personal read, so I can't get too specific with exactly how it played out in your past lives. But I can tell you for like 100% truth that this is a pattern that has occurred throughout multiple lifetimes. And in this lifetime, you ascended so damn high that this will never happen again. You completed it. You completely just collapsed that whole timeline, that message. It's done. It's over. So if they have any lessons that they haven't learned, if they have any karma that they still have to play out, it's free of you. You're no longer entangled. You're no longer tied to it. You've already cleansed yourself and cut the cords. You've already ascended and cleared that contract. You came here once again to play out this similar role. And in past lives, they might have killed you. In past lives, they got away with it. And Pat, like I, I don't, I don't know exactly how this played out specifically for you. But in this life, you won, and in this life, you won in a masterful way. You won like an ascended master would win this battle. You won how a Christ would win this battle by going within, doing the work, and staying on your throne. So this won't happen again. I, I'm so glad for that. So for a lot of you, this... For a lot of you, actually, this is biblical. You've got ties to ancient biblical times. Like, this is part of you, like, reclaiming your destiny, your throne. For some of you, this is deep. This is really deep. Like, this goes way back, like, to ancient Egyptian times type deep. Or back to ancient Sumerian, or I don't know. But for a lot of you, you are playing out a um, a really big, it, this, it's grand, it's bigger than you too, and I love that. 
and you successfully won and you completed a major cycle. So I'm going to leave this reading here. If you like the way that I read, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I greatly appreciate every single one of you and I will see you on the next collective message.